Hey, the ice is melted, so we are out. Surveying all the damage throughout the neighborhood. Yeah, no kidding. We have a lot to we tell you. Stories. <laughs> but here we are on day two of our run streak, and also our training for some races we've signed up for. Stick around. Stories galore. Hey, hey, everybody. Well, here we are. Uh, you just watched the footage. We ran four miles today. It's the longest run we have done since the marathon. I know we're still talking about the marathon, but, uh, you know, we told you we are uh, prepping. We've got a, uh, a local 5K. Uh, it's a Cupid's Chase. Next weekend. And then we continue to train because we have signed up for the half marathon uh, at the Bluebell Creamery. And we have verified you can actually. Yeah. Eat it's like all the flavors of ice cream, not just like an ice cream bar. Because I thought, you know, ease of handing it out, it might just be yeah, like yeah. prepackaged ice cream bars. Well, don't think we're no, on a treat. You go get. Yeah, we're going to visit the ice cream orchard while we're there. <laughs> uh, no, you go, you get scoops. All of you, flavors. All you can physically ingest. We are going to, we're going to find out. Really hope my body and, is okay with I'm that after a like, run. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> uh, in our in our running challenge, we had to postpone a little bit. <laughs> Let us go. We're like run. February. We're doing this. We're running every day. And Mother Nature's like, no, no you're not. No. These sweet children. <laughs> Hey, 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 well, it is run streak day one. Yeah, yeah, we're not going anywhere. We are 100% iced over. Yeah, it's uh, 28 degrees uh, ice. And uh, hey, of the two of us, who do you think already fell? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, it's day one of our run streak. We did it. We did it. It's 40 degrees, late. cold. No more ice, though. No more ice. So we started. Here's hoping we can uh, make it last. <laughs> so, um. It was rough. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, like most of the US, we were hit by uh, a winter storm. Uh, yeah. And it was, Unlike uh, some parts of the US, we can't handle it here. No. So we don't have. We don't have anything. We no. don't have street treatments to like keep no. ice from forming. We mm -hmm. don't have whatever. We also didn't get snow with this summer, this summer, yeah. <laughs> this winter storm, which, um, summer on you the know, <laughs> which, you know, can make things easier to get around yeah. if it's snow instead of ice. What no. we had was actual thunderstorms yeah. with temperatures below freezing. Yeah. So we were soaked yeah. and it froze. Ice upon ice upon ice. It I mean, like look at some of these images, right? Ice. It's just like. And what was amazing is they kept saying, it's going to snow, it's going to snow, it's going to snow. Yeah, we had and then snow in the forecast it was all like day that day. It was 27 degrees one evening. And what do we wake up to in the middle of the thunder. night? Thunder. A thunderstorm. Thunder. With pouring rain. It's like, what? Yeah, so we had two mornings where we woke up below freezing and dumping rain. <clears throat> and so our trees were just coated. Um, we have three trees in our yard. Two of them have half the branches they used to have. Mm -hmm. One of them, which is the one we actually care about, our oak, um, lost a big branch. Yeah. But we did okay. Mm -hmm. There's 
There are some other trees in the neighborhood yeah. that did not. And, and we did do okay. It, it's not it's not like we're complaining or anything. We didn't lose power like we did the last time a big freeze came through, and that was mm -hmm. that was absolutely horrific because yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people. Uh, uh, didn't have power, didn't have water, and, mm -hmm. and, and we were there last time. This time we didn't lose uh, power and we didn't have to uh, boil our water, mm -hmm. but a bunch of people still in in neighboring uh, 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 areas did lose power and uh, also have yeah. to boil their water. So, you know, we we, we did all right. Uh, and if you looked at the our running footage uh, from today, uh, you can see some of the damage too, and it's kind of scary, right? Because uh, some of these oak trees have pretty huge branches, so mm -hmm. uh, we couldn't go to the park today, uh, and we're I being told to uh, stay off, you know, yeah, stay yeah. off paths, uh, uh, trails, because uh, you know, one, you have uh, dangerous branches. Yeah, yeah, um, branches could still fall. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, also cleanup crews need to get there and you know do their do their job. And thank you, cleanup crews, man. That's that's not easy work. So anyway, it was a crazy week. Yes. Crazy. So it should have, like, I should have known how crazy of a week it would be when on Monday, Monday was when it got really cold. We didn't have any moisture yet, but it was like bitterly cold mm -hmm. for us. Yeah. Um, and I went to uh, our, our local ear, nose, and throat doctor and got tested for allergies and came back allergic to like everything in the region. <laughs> yeah. My report is bright red. Yeah. And so I was like, huh, okay, well, that explains some stuff. But it was just kind of a weird start to the week yeah. to, like, oh, yeah. understand yeah. what I'm up against, <laughs> yeah. which is a lot. It's like, you know, all those trees and all the grass yeah, and like, all, all the flora. Literally everything. Uh, you're allergic to it. Like, everything. Like, really allergic to it. Everything, so, everything. Yeah. Not dogs, though. Thank you, Mido. Yeah, not dogs. And um, not uh, food. Some food, but not... Actually, yeah, food that I eat. Yeah. Sesame and, seeds and soybeans, which yeah. we're vegetarians. Yeah. We eat a lot of tofu, so, yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, mm. But thankfully, the biggie, uh, you're not allergic to alcohol. So. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> a tough life ahead. Actually, I had actually I you're not allergic to dairy. That's I'm not allergic to dairy, and I'm not allergic to wheat. That was the other one that I was like, uh. Uh, Full circle, going to try to eat all the ice cream we possibly can. Uh, that's a half, half marathon. What is that in? Like, uh... Uh, that's at the end of March. It's March 25th, I think. So, we have a, so basically what we're doing for the rest of our training, training, the time between now and then, mm -hmm. next week is a 5K, so we're going back to three miles. But then after that, we're kind of increasing each week by one to two miles. So I think our next run will be six. Our next longer run will be six, and then eight, and then maybe like nine. I like kind of, I would just around some. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, until like the week before the race and then we'll take it back down to something more reasonable and then we'll do the 13. It's really, March. it's really exciting stuff. And finally, the final update is a biggie. A lot of hearts are going to be broken on February 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, that is sign up day for the Disneyland half marathon in California. Uh, we're really hopeful that we can get in, but we are realistically doubtful that we'll make it. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to turn into a complainer, so I'm not going to complain, but uh, there are reasons uh, why uh, it makes it hard to get into uh, Run Disney races, and I blame Run Disney. <clears throat> yeah. But I'm not going to be a complainer. So uh, for everybody who might be uh, trying to sign up for the Disneyland uh, races on February 14th, uh, don't because we're trying. No, no, no. Aww. No, no, no. Good, good luck. Good luck because it, it's going to be it's going to be pretty rough. I, I, I cannot imagine the load their servers are going to have. Uh, and they don't have a good track record with that as it is. So we'll see how that goes. February 14th, uh, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, so depending on where you are. That's when you need to try to get in and sign up. We are hopeful. Uh, but if we don't get in, we have plenty of other plans for running. Uh, still include the marathon weekend at Disney World. Still looking at wine and dine. And we're even floating the idea of maybe going on our first ever cruise so that we can run Castaway Cape. Mm -hmm. But all of these things are just kind of you know, up in the air until uh, we figure it out. So that's what's going on. Yeah. 
that's the excitement. Um, we do hope that uh, any of you, if you're dealing with winter storm issues, that you're okay. Uh, let us know how things are going. Let us know uh, if you're training for anything or just let us know how you're doing. We love hearing from you. We love making these videos. So if you haven't, please subscribe. Hit like if you like them because we like to hear from you. And hit notifications because we try our best to upload every week. We are going to go outside and start... We're going to clean up our yard. ...sawing away on some <laughs> trees and stuff. Uh, and I do not get on ladders, so we'll see how this works out. We'll you figure know, it out. We'll figure it out because <laughs> it's always an adventure with you. We'll see you next week.